317 brought a noticeable performance increase for Star Citizen. Nonetheless, I always seek to squeeze out every bit of performance out of my build when it comes to running the game. So today, I wanted to showcase a tool I'm using to make Star Citizen work best on my current Alder Lake i7-12700 CPU and 3060 Ti GPU. First of all, I'm in no way associated with the tools I'll talk about and I'm not sponsored in any way by them. In fact, I'm myself using a freeware version of the software. So the software is called Process Lasso. And in addition to providing a clear picture of what's running where, it also enables you to have a more fine-grained control of how your computer resources are assigned to processes. So after some testing, I found that with my current setup, I get the best performance by ensuring that Alder Lake's efficiency cores are not utilized for Star Citizen and also running the process with hyperthreading off. While you can disable the e-cores and hyperthreading at the BIOS level, Process Lasso lets you retain those features for the rest of your Windows processes, but disable them for Star Citizen specifically. Additionally, Process Lasso jumps in and sets these settings prior to easy anti-cheat kicking in and blocking the ability to set priority or affinity on the Star Citizen executable. So let's start by starting Star Citizen. And after you start Star Citizen, get Process Lasso going and take a look at the CPU affinity by right-clicking on both the Star Citizen Launcher and the Star Citizen EXE. And as you can see, all CPU cores are being used, including the efficiency cores. Now, what we want to do is go to CPU Affinity, Always, and disable hyperthreading. I do it for both the Star Citizen Launcher and the Star Citizen Executable. You will see that it immediately affects the Star Citizen Launcher, but the Star Citizen Executable will not actually get changed until you restart the game entirely. You can also set the CPU priority to be high, which you no longer can do directly from Windows because Easy Anti-Cheat blocks it. We still are using all the cores, but always it is set to use only the eight primary performance cores. Now, once you restart Star Citizen, it will take effect. Let's start with 1080p. On the left, you will see all CPU cores being used, and on the right, you'll see hyperthreading off with the E cores being turned off. So immediately you can see the FPS is higher on the hyper threading off window and especially look at the 99 percent uh, frame rate it's significantly higher than that of using all the cores uh, and it's also noticeable when walking around that there's some choppiness and stuttering uh, when all the co cpu cores are being used now let's take a look at 1440p and here again we're going to be hitting full utilization of the 3060 Ti. So both at 1080p and 1440p were actually bottlenecked by the GPU. So there's not as much difference here at 1440p uh, in terms of the frame rates, but you could still see, especially on the 99% FPS, some um, notable decrease when all cores are being used, including the efficiency cores. But the most noticeable is actually when we put the game into 720p. And that's where there's no GPU bottleneck. So essentially we're letting the CPU um, do all of its work. And quickly you'll see the frame rates are very significantly different. Uh, we're hitting about 180 frames per second on hyper-threading offside, and we're hitting 150, 160 frames on the all CPU cores side. And again, take a look at the 99% FPS, where we have about 40 FPS on all cores, and we're having significantly higher frame rates when the hyper-threading and the E-cores are turned off. So, enjoy! <laughs> 